All right, we are back here at the North Sideline Club of Hard Rock Stadium with the winner of the CBS4 Natmore Trophy, Henry Parrish, and we got the whole family here. I want to talk to interview our mom and dad, and uh, what does it do to hear your son give you those kind of props, Henry, senior? It's a blessing. It's a blessing. You thank God for this, because that's all we do is preach and tell them to be humble and do, do your best. And he obviously has gotten the message. Um, Who's tougher on him, uh, dad or mom? Um, I'm always telling him to, well, I'm not, well, he always confining me in everything. So um, I just keep him on a straight path and let him know everything's going to be okay if he just remain humble and stay focused. What do you think this will do for his confidence level and his motivation level going to the next step? Motivation, just keep moving. No, don't stop here. It's to the next level, we reach them goals. Well, it certainly worked for Nat Moore because when he was at Edison High School, uh, he didn't stop moving, and look where it landed him. And Nat, we're going to talk to you in a minute, but first I want to go over here and talk to Coach Dunn. And I remember you telling us that uh, the, one of the runs that he had this year was one of the best runs you've ever seen any high school player make. He just never quits. He's never going to go down. So that's he literally gives it his all each and every play. So there's times when you think the play is going to be over and you start thinking about the next play to call, and he's still going. He's, he's an amazing young man and very deserving of this honor. And, you know, I could imagine it would be easy to get the big head. You had uh, ESPN coming in, you know, one of the top ten plays of the week, but he seemed to keep it all in perspective. Yeah, he's, he's a pretty humble young man. He works really, really hard and very deserving. And it helps to have examples of players like this, doesn't it, for the rest of your team? Yeah, you know, it just shows you what, you know, hard work and, and determination will lead to. All right. Well, Henry, uh, you've got your whole family here, and we know the expression, it takes a whole village to raise. Uh, you're not a child anymore. You're a young man. But uh, your village is, is behind you and supporting you. And uh, tell us what that means to you to know that you've got people like this who always have your back. Uh... My mom, my mom and dad always had my back since I was like, since it all started, since football all started. They all told me just to be humble, like keep going. That's all they kept preaching to me, and just keep working. You're not the biggest guy, man, but uh, when you get on the field, pretty big dude, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I just try to outwork my opponents, and then just try to beat them, and then take it for six. Okay, and, and you've been doing that pretty consistently. Henry, congratulations. And that? Hold on, Henry. Got to teach you something real quick here, son. What? You need to give your offensive line a shout out tonight. <laughs> Otherwise, That's you might not have them blocking for you. So you need to say something positive about your offensive line. Uh. Oh no, no, that ain't it. <laughs> I'm trying to help him, I I like to give all them, all the guys the uh, the shout out. They've been working since uh, spring. <laughs> Coach Hill with the guys. So just got to keep going and then finish the job for Ari. All right. Here we go. Good advice, Nat. Always remember Spoken that. Spoken like a true veteran. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, Coach, let's slide to the left just a little bit because we want to get Henry to hold up that trophy one more time and let the entire audience here and the TV audience at home see our very first CBS4 Natmore Trophy winner, Mr. Henry Parrish, Jr. Congratulations, my friend. Well done.